Today on the channel from Articulated Icons via the Fwoosh, we've got the Articulated Icon Ninjas. Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another ninja unboxing. Yes, ninjas. Everybody loves ninjas. I don't care if we're talking Marvel Legends. I don't care if we're talking G.I. Joe. I don't care if we're talking articulated icons. Ninjas are a thing and a thing action figure collectors love. And speaking of my love for ninjas, that's why I picked these articulated icons up via the Foosh website. You can search that bad boy out. I'm not sure if they have any left. They have a lot of hot sales. I think these were like $8.99, $11.99, something like that at the time. I swooped in like a ninja and picked some of these up because these are great army builders. Obviously, there's little stories on the boxes and stuff. And we'll get into a little of that. We'll do it like we always do. We'll take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to box it. We're going to talk about it. You know, the whole song and dance. But ninjas are always popular, and these ninjas are great because you can put them in with your G.I. Joes. You can put them in with your Marvel Legends. Heck, you could probably even put them in with your Ninja Turtles if you really wanted to. Uh, so that's kind of the charm of these. Of course, they did have a white version of this. That's one I do not own, uh, but very, very similar to Storm Shadow, which everybody wants. And some might say the most popular ninja going today. I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me your favorite ninja, but Storm Shadow's got to be on the top five list, I would imagine. Uh, so everybody needs ninjas, and the Foosh Articulated Icon swooped in and said, hey, we can fill that gap, at least momentarily, until these ninja ranks get there. And we've seen the hand ninja via Marvel Legends in the last year, year and a half. Storm Shadow finally coming our way here in 2022. So we'll see. The time may be up for these, but I have heard the Foosh Articulated Icons is going to do a skeletons line. So everybody needs ninjas, everybody needs skeletons. It all makes sense. The math checks out where I sit, as you guys know. I sit right here. So there it is. But let's look at these guys. We'll start with this one. No particular order going on here. Now we did unbox a brown ninja and I have him right here at the ready. So we can compare these and have him here. But I have him just uh, in case we need him. But let's take a look at the packaging here. And we'll go through all three packagings. Then I'm going to open them all up off camera and then we'll talk about each one. We'll do this one a little bit faster than a normal review. Uh, but we got them right there. Purple. I love the bright white packaging. It is so minimalistic that it is powerful, at least for me. Uh, that's what I think. But you got the purple ninja in here. A bold choice for a ninja. Ninjas aren't really always known to be purple unless you're a foot soldier. Uh, I guess that's the closest thing we're used to. But this is a basic ninja purple edition going on here. Articulated icons. The feudal series is what it says. Oh, the feudal series. You got that. Then on the side, we got the big blurb. Now, I'm not going to read all this. I will put a picture up, and you guys can uh, freeze frame it if you want to really look at it a little bit deeper. Uh, but it's got kind of the basic ninja purple biography. On the side, beautiful artwork of the old purple ninja doing his purple ninja things. And then the back, you got a little bit of the rest of the crew there. We got another big blurb at the top. You got some of the other colored ninjas you can pick up. Uh, they did have accessory kits and stuff like that as well. Uh, if you want to even take your ninja love even deeper. Uh, so there it is. We got basic ninja brown. That's one I just showed here. We got the purple in hand. And then uh, we got the green one right over here. And then this is like a darker one, but it's not listed on the back here. But there is a gray ninja, a white ninja, a red ninja. I don't have all the colors of the ninja rainbow. I've just got uh, the four we have here. But uh, we got that. And then we're going to take a look at the green ninja right here. Basic green. You can see him right there. Same old kind of song and dance. Same everything. But you got a little different glamour shot. Get a little different uh, action here, a little different blurb on this side, and we'll freeze frame all those. And then same thing here with the Dark Ninja, the, what's it say, Clan of Dusk Ninja. Oh, Dusk Ninja, I'm all here for it. Almost a dark midnight bluish greenish color tint, a very interesting color, but the same song and dance all the way around. I like the artwork, I appreciate the box size, I appreciate all that stuff. Uh, a little different packaging on the back, of course. So then you're promoting that Red Ninja down below. Uh, you got a little blurb here. Silent shadows hold unseen danger. Steel whispers the fatal strike. Between breaths, between blinks, the ninja makes his home. A nightmare apparition. <laughs> apparition? Apparition. That means death to those he seeks. Between breaths, between blinks. That's where the ninja lives. Isn't that crazy? Crazy to think about. Crazy. Uh, collect them all. And they talk about the sand ninja, dust ninja, crimson ninja arms pack for if you want clear arms like a young storm shadow there you go so that's a little overview of the ninjas in package let me unbox these guys we'll be back we're going to talk about some of these ninjas 
And we're back. We got all the ninjas out of the pack. Obviously, they are all the same ninjas, just different coloring. So I'm going to walk through the articulation on one. We won't have to do all three. Go through the weapons on one. We won't have to go all three. You get the uh, gist of that. But let's start. Let's take a look at this blue ninja first. How about we take a look at him? And let's look at the accessories. I guess let's go accessories first. Now, very interesting. You can mix and match these. So maybe you want to buy five of these uh, green ninjas. With the accessories here, you can do little tweaks, a little smoke and mirrors, and you can make each one a little bit different. I do really like that aspect. Part of me says I should have just bought five of one ninja to have a ninja army. But I like the idea of having different colored ninjas. I figured that'd be a cool ninja army. Everyone's a different color, like a Power Ranger, a Ninja Turtle, uh, something along those lines. So something different you could use. But there's a little differences between these guys. Uh, this one is a, a little holster kind of uh, apparatus that goes over the body here. Uh, your ninja gear. I don't even know what you technically call this. It's kind of like a vest, but uh, almost like a utility vest a little bit. But you do have that. Then, of course, they all do come with the swords. The swords are removable out of this backpack. Plugs in G.I. Joe style in the back of the figure. And you got the beautiful swords going on here. Love the gold down here at the base. Then, of course, the silver sword. Nice angle to it. And then nice, uh, nice uh, sculpting on the handle here. This is what you think of ninja swords style. So you got two sizes, a smaller one, a bigger one. Is it a katana blade? Uh, we're just going to call it a ninja sword. Uh, but you do have that plugs right in the back very easily, of course. And then you get these, I want to call them daggers. Uh, it's almost like what Scorpion in Mortal Kombat uses. You put a little rope on this bad boy and you give it a, the old get over here and then you reel them back in. You get a little of that going on. But it's got one of these little ninja daggers, so you can use that. You can have one guy as your swordsman, one guy doing a sword in one of these. You can have one guy with two of these. Ways to make it all different, so you can do that. And then you do get different hoods going on here. So you do have a, a little hooded head on the figure, but then you get a classic, almost Storm Shadow-esque head or Snake Eyes-esque head, just a regular one. And then you do get one, you can pop the head off on these. You can put this over the back. It's like the cowl is down. You can do that. And then you have the ability to remove the head very easily. Pops off just on a ball joint like we've seen. And like I said, you can pop that on there. Pop this Storm Shadow-like head on. And you're off to the races, off to the races. So it's like he's got his cowl down, uh, if you so choose to do it that way. And we'll uh, talk about the other one. Might as well do it right now. Let me pop this head off. So then you do have the big hood here. And this hood is very, very funny uh, because I've seen a lot of people have pictures of these over the years. These have been out. Uh, people think you just put it on like this, just like so. And it goes like that. Uh, that is not the case, actually. Uh, so you want to put the small head, the small version in there. And then you put the head in over that, like so. And then you just got to line it up, of course. Uh, I actually used the wrong head, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, but it looks much better if you do it the correct way. I've seen people have it flipped. Uh, maybe you guys have it as well. Uh, so we do got some of that going on with the head, which is always fun. Pop this head. I like the uh, Storm Shadow-esque head I'm going to use for this guy. Uh, and then you get hands. Of course, you got the two gripping hold, hand-holding hands. I always call it the hand-holding hands, but the C-grip hands are on here, so you have those going on. Uh, then you got two open karate chop hands. You never know when a ninja might have to give somebody the old karate chop. And then you got Kyle's favorite, the old fisted hands. So once again, choose your own hand adventure with these ninjas, and the hands pop on very easily. They are just on a little ball. Uh, I don't like this. This is probably my least favorite part of these figures is the little ball joints here. Very much like the, what is it, SH Figure Arts. Have you ever seen the wrestling SH Figure Art figures uh, from back in the day? There was, what, Austin. I think there was The Rock, Triple H, Kane, Undertaker. It's kind of how their hands operated as well. Just a little bit smaller peg than I would have liked and a little bit smaller hands too. A little bit bigger peg, a little bit bigger hands I think would have worked well. Uh, but these do look just fine, of course. He does have his uh, satchel around here. Either they come with this on or they come with this apparatus on. Once again, choose your own adventure here. But then you get down to the ninja itself. Uh, we get down to the old brass tacks, the old ninja tacks, and we've got tons of articulated uh, goodness with this one. It is Articulated Icons, the maker of this. So uh, the hands we talked about, up, down, all around on a ball joint, removable as well. Double jointed elbows, got to have double jointed elbows on a ninja. You got the bicep swivel. The arms go all around, up, down, everywhere, which way you'd want to go. We've seen the head. It is removable, of course. And then you get the bicep swivel here, double jointed elbows on the other hand, uh, you're all set. Then you get the waist swivel up top, get a little bit of movement, a little back and forth, but a little bit of more swivel there. And then you get a ton of swivel down at the bottom here. And then you get down to the legs, you got the thigh cut, double jointed knees, boot cut, and then ankle articulation. And you can move it in any kind of position for your ninja needs, of course. 
And then on the back, you have the strap that has the hole. You can put this all the way through for this. Uh, you also have it down here if you want to have it lower on him. If you want to have the uh, swords down low, you can do that. Or you can put them up high. Choose your own sword adventure. So a lot of choosing of your own adventures here. Uh, moving our way over to the green ninja. We'll talk about him a little bit. I should say the eyes of all these ninjas are kind of frosted over. He's got a green eyes. They all got green eyes. Yep, they do. Which makes them a little bit spiritual or supernatural maybe. Uh, so once again, you can choose how you want to have these guys displayed and how you want to play with them. The hands just do come off very easily. I don't, not a big fan of that, as I mentioned. Uh, but this guy has the uh, full-on vest apparatus going on there. So if you like this look, depending how you like your looks, uh, you can do that. Uh, but the green, they're all the same from there. This purple one really, really does pop. Very cool, this purple guy here. Uh, almost like a foot soldier come to life, but a lot of the foot soldiers are robots, right? I mean, so... Yeah, you get, you get a little changes. But once again, the hand falls right off with a little touch. That is the weakest part of these uh, by far. But I do like these. And especially on the website, they had so many deals on these. Uh, if you played that long game, you did some of that, you could get these guys at a very, very cheap price. Uh, and like I said, they do scale with your Marvel Legends. They can scale in your G.I. Joe. I'm going to use these in my G.I. Joe display uh, as we are building our G.I. Joe world. Marvel Legend is pretty expanded at this point. It's been going a lot of years. G.I. Joe is still getting to the thing, so I will probably put these guys with my G.I. Joes uh, just for now. Have them with Storm Shadow, have them with Cobra. Just fill out the Army Builder ranks on my display shelf. That's where my plan is to put these, but you can't go wrong any which way you decide to put these guys. So very, very cool, uh, very cheap, at least when they're on sale, and uh, just something different outside of the normal Hasbro Mattel type stuff. A little bit more of those third parties, the, the underdogs of the world. Uh, I'm here for that. I'm here for more cool stuff. And I'm sure we'll have some more cool stuff in 2022. Similar on the lines here, some of the other companies, smaller companies that make some of this stuff. I've got a few things on pre-order that we'll talk about in the future. So stay tuned. And the best way to stay tuned, as you guys know, is to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, follow me on Patreon, newly launched, all kinds of stuff, early, early videos on there, and a lot of bonus content. If you can't get enough from me on YouTube, there's plenty more over there. And of course, the best thing about it, you support the channel if you like what you see. So we got that going on. Make sure you hit the old thumbs up. Uh, I want to always give the old thumbs up to the video. You made it this far. Why wouldn't you? And then you can find me on uh, social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for some articulated icons ninjas, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.